Okay, so this is going to be a quick off level up tip. I'm going to head to Fira code. I'm just going to Google F I R A code. And this is essentially a beautiful open sourced mono spaced font that looks awesome. Look at this thing. I use this constantly. Now this font right here is so much better than anything else I've ever used. And it's free unlike some of the other expensive sort of uh, developer fonts that exist. And as you can see, it works with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it's I turn two support is coming in 3.1, so it doesn't work there yet, but it works in a lot of editors except for Sublime Text, which is a huge bummer. It has to do with how Sublime Text does not support ligatures. Uh, but it does work in the Atom, and it works in um, Net, NetBeans, so any of your WebStorm, any of that sort of stuff, WebStorm, as you can see, uh, Visual Code, TextMate, Xcode, any of the good stuff, everything that's good except for Sublime Text. So... Let's go ahead and what we just really need to do is install this font. We just need to install this. So let's go ahead and click download. So clone download, download the zip. Should be easy inside of this folder is just essentially going to be uh, a distribution folder. Inside of that, we can go ahead and just grab our OTFs and you can just select all of them and let's install this thing. Super cool. Okay, Fira Code is installed. Now I'm going to just show you Atom because that's what I'm using right now. And here's just a basic React document. Actually, let's go to this one right here so you can see some things like we have our arrow function here, how cool this is going to be. Let's head to Preferences. And now it's going to be different for every single text editor. However, if we head to Editor, I believe we can change our font right down here. So under font family, we can just say Fira code. And you'll notice that I, uh, this has two words here, Fira code. And instantly, just like that, you can see we already have the benefits of these ligatures. It turned my equal greater than into an arrow. And it turned my forward slash bracket into an actual bracket here. Like this is all combined one thing. And in addition, if I were to just come to anything, and let's say I wanted to have a, an equals, you can see when I do two equals, it combines them into one line. And when I do three equals, it does this three line equals thing. And likewise, if you do a not equals, exclamation point, equal equals, you can see it's a slash through. I mean, this is just awesome, right? Uh, this sort of visual representation looks so much better than the exclamation point. And overall, I find Fira Code to be extremely easy to read overall. And just little things like that, uh, man, they just really help out when you're developing. If you want to see what other sort of stuff exists in here, uh, you can see exactly this conversion table here where it's sort of showing you what equals what, right? And even this like commenting one where it's taking this sort of HTML style exclamation point comment and having the line go through it. I mean, that's just awesome. It's just, it's just, it like turns your actual code things into the syntax. It turns them into symbols, really, and it just makes everything easier to parse. So I highly recommend Fira Code. It's a monospaced font with programming ligatures. Couldn't be any cooler. Install it, get it going in your text editor, whatever you'd like, but I highly recommend it. One of my favorite things that I use. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you found this quick level up tip to be super helpful. Uh, I'm going to hope to be pumping out a lot more of these, whether it's uh, little things like Fira Code or just little things that make my workflow easier. So if you see Fira Code in any of my videos, or you came from another one of my videos to this video, this is it right here, github.com, Tonsky, Tonsky, Fira Code. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.